Hi, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video, I'm going to be configuring uh, Frame Relay. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to go over the basics of Frame Relay, and we're going to uh, be configuring a static Frame Relay in this lab. Uh, frame Relay uses uh, what's called VCs, or virtual circuits. Um, and these virtual circuits are made up of uh, layer 2 uh, data link connection identifiers, or DELCs. And the DELCs are local, locally significant uh, based on the link that they're on. Uh, what I'm going to show you how to do here is to use um, in GNS3 the, what's called the uh, frame relay switch to uh, configure your DELCs in between your uh, your routers and and then we'll talk a little more about about those so what we're going to do is we're going to take the frame relay switch over here from GNS3 and uh, we're going to go ahead and put it right here in the middle of our diagram what we're going to do is we're going to connect um, it's kind of we're going to do a real simple hub and spoke uh, frame relay uh, topology here where router 1 is the hub and the spoke sites are router 2 and router 3. So in this scenario um, if router 3 wants to talk to router 2 it has to go through router 1 and this, the same for router 2. If it wants to talk to router 3 it has to go through router 1. So router 1 would therefore be the the uh, hub and the spokes are router 2 and router 3. Okay, so what we can do here is right click on the frame relay switch and go to configure. Then we'll click on FR0. And then here you can see we have what we can program here. We can map the DELCs are the data link connection identifiers. Now again, DELCs are a, a layer two mapping and they're locally significant on the link. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create uh, basically our layer two mapping between router one and router two and router one and router three. So what we're gonna do is we're going to say, we'll start here with uh, router 1 and router 2. The source port we're going to use here, um, you know, router 1 is going to be the source. Um, we're going to give it a port of 1. So we can designate all of our, our uh, you know, our router 1 mappings are going to be from port 1. And the DELCY for this connection to router 2 we're going to choose is going to be 1, 1, 0, 2. And the way I look at this is it's from the source of 1, which is router 1, and the DELC is going to be 1 to 2, which means it's going to be our connection from router 1 to router 2. Now the destination here or the receiving side of this is going to be the port 2, and the DELC is going to be two to one. Okay, and now this mapping is going to be router two's layer two mapping to reach router one in the frame relay cloud. So again, the source is going to be router one. Now the, the DELCY, the, the locally significant DELCY here we're going to be using is one to two, one zero two, which means that it's going to be the layer two mapping to router two. And the destination of this mapping is going to be port two, which we're going to which we're going to use to connect to router two, and that DELC is going to be two to one. So that's going to be router two's uh, DELC connection to router one. So we'll go ahead here and we'll add this. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to make the DELC connection or the frame relay um, connection to router 3. Again, so for the source, we're going to use router 1. 
So the source port we're going to use one. Then the Delsi here we're going to use is one zero three, which is one to three, basically router one to router three. And then on the destination side, what we're going to use to map router three to router one is port three. And the Delsi here we're going to use is three zero one, basically from router three to router one. It's an easy way to remember. So that should be it. That's all we need in this configuration for to map out our Delsies. So from here you can see um, just inside of the, the frame relay switch you can see